the Phil Sweeney chase will kick off day three. Then this is a two and a quarter mile grade three. And at the top, we've got fabulous prospect for David Hooley, Duffcott Collider, Joshua Sutherland, Invincibility Duplex, Stu Gray, Maycox Jody, David Robertson, Samba, Alex Cherry, Tie Fighter, Paul Rhodes, Wade Bridge, Darren Thompson, Weary Willie, Kevin Minahan, Arlington Idrak, Vinnie Gerard, Ashura Posh, Davy Ladd, that's David Robertson, Black Ascoli, Martin Little, that was the winner of this race two seasons ago, Safina De Niro for Paul Rhodes, Hewler Signet, Daniel French, Lemons Mill, Craig Beckwith, Mandrake Root for Martin Little, was second in this last season, one of those sometimes is now for Obi-Wan, Operation Bluebell, Graham Clutterbuck and Time and Eternity, Leon Van Rensburg, they're already off and racing and making their way down towards the first of the fences in this Grade three, Phil Sweeney, and it's one of those sometimes is now that's gone off into an early leader to get to the first of the 12. And then all over it safely, although Operation Bluebell was a little bit untidy at the back. And one of those sometimes is now is setting the pace and leads by two lengths to assure a posh in second. Woody Woody on the inside is third as they get to the first ditch, which is fence number two. And there's a faller at the back there, fabulous prospect has gone, and it almost looked like a refusal as much as a fall as the horse almost ran into the fence as it departed the race at the second and another one's down there that's Maycox Jody that's gone this time so two early departures then in the Phil Sweeney and it's one of those sometimes is now is clearing the lead from the winner of this race two seasons ago Black Ascoli then Hewler Signet is in third as they get over the next then Ashura Posh and Time and Eternity with Weary Willie close up still and then Safina De Niro and Tie Fighter and Lemons Mill then Mandrake Root in, in mid division with Duffcock Collider and Invincibility Duplex is after that one and at the back Arlington Idrak Samba who's wide on the track and finally Operation Bluebell so one of those sometimes is now then bowling along in the lead a good four or five lengths clear of Daniel French's Hula Signet in the second as they get over the fifth and come up past the stand then with a complete circuit of the track to go past the winning post and it's one of those sometimes is now in the lead for Obi-Wan with Hula Signet for Daniel French in second and then Time and Eternity for Leon Van Rensburg in third Black Ascoli is fourth then Ashura Posh and Tie Fighter and then Lemonsman and Safina De Niro and Weary Willie and then Duffcock Colliders after that and Wade Bridge and Operation Blue Belt with Samba and Arlington Idrak next Mandrake Root has dropped towards the back and is now at the back alongside Invincibility Duplex as they take number six and all the remaining Horses got over that one okay, making their way down towards the next and into the final mile of this race. The first race on day three of week eight, and it's one of those sometimes is now that's in the lead, but that lead is now down to two and a half. They gets over it in front, a sure a posh over it in second, time and eternity over third, then Lemons Mill and Tie Fighter and Hewlett Signet, Black Ascoli after that one, and then Wade Bridge, and then Operation Blue Belt. The leader is only Half a length up now on Ashura Posh, who's now coming alongside and is in fact going to take it up. So Ashura Posh is going to lead into the next then with on the outside time and eternity over that one. One of those sometimes is now fighting back on the inside. Then comes the uh, Tie Fighter, Wade Bridges next then, Lemons Mill, Black Ascoli being pushed along, Duffcock Glider trying to come around the outside, Weary Willy is losing his place, Safina De Niro is trying to run on, Mandrake Root and Invincibility Duplex are tailing off and Tie Fighter was a faller at that one as they race down towards the next, it's Ashura Posh in the lead. Over the third from home, then Ashura Posh lands in front from one of those sometimes is now. Hula Signet coming around the outside. Time and Eternity got itself boxed in on the inside. Safina De Niro and Lemons Mill going well. Black Ascoli running a big race. Then comes Wade Bridge trying to get into it as well. This is the second last, and it's Hula Signet who's gone on. Hula Signet then from in second place. Ashura Posh and Time and Eternity. Then Lemons Mill, then Black, Black Ascoli. Weary Woolly switches to the outside. They've only got two more fences to take, and they've only got two furlongs to race, and Hula Signet it is four or five clear. Hewler Signet then coming down towards the final fence in the lead from about four lengths from Ashura Posh in second. Then comes Time and Eternity. Then Lemons Mill after that one, but it's Ashura Posh who's now closing on Hewler Signet. Hewler Signet's getting tired coming down towards the final fence. And Ashura Posh jumps in the lead, but a better jump by Hewler Signet who battles back. Ashura Posh now looks to have plenty in hand. And Ashura Posh looking there stronger. Takes it comfortably from Hewler Signet second. Then Duff Cockloader and Time and Eternity and uh, Lemons Mill and Weary Willie after that and all the way back to Invincibility Duplex who was the last one to finish and Ashura Posh won that one pretty cosily looked like it got a little bit in hand and took it well from Hewler Signet 
Uh, Ashura Posh for David Robertson, the winner. Hewlett Signet for Daniel French was second. Time and Eternity, Leon Van Rensburg, third. Duffcock Collider, Joshua Sutherland, fourth. And Lemons Mill for Craig Beckwith was fifth. <laughs>